Hello, welcome to Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I hope your week is going well so far. Um, I'm here with my dog, Tiffany, who's a little under the weather, so she won't be barking today to disrupt us in any way. And today I want to talk about workspaces. So I kind of feel that workspaces are really important, and yet I find that a lot of people don't use them. Workspaces allow you to take a snapshot of your user interface, which is especially helpful when you upgrade to the next release of AutoCAD because we know what a pain it is to get our user interface to look the way we know and love it, right? And we all like our workspaces to, and our user interfaces to look a little bit different, right? So I want to show you that inside of AutoCAD 2009, that the workspace toolbar does not show up by default. Here we have the new ribbon, and I just want you to notice that, of course, there is no workspace toolbar up here. So to get to it in 2009, just move your cursor down to the lower right-hand corner of the screen, and you'll here you'll see the workspace switching icon. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and you'll see that I have a few of those set up. Now, for those of you who want to go back to the AutoCAD that you know and love, it's just as easy as selecting AutoCAD Classic. And now you'll see on the screen my familiar toolbars, you'll see my pull-down menus, and in the upper left-hand corner is the workspace toolbar. And here you'll see that I have an option of AutoCAD Classic, right? If I drop this list down, it's easy enough to switch from one workspace to another. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, for fun, show you a couple of others. I have one called Toolbar Heaven. I'm going to go ahead and select that. This is one that you definitely are never going to want to use, right? But I want you to think about workspaces this way. Maybe on a specific project, you need to set the user interface up differently than another project. No problem, you can have two different workspaces for the different projects. Or maybe you'd like to have specific toolbars on your screen when you're working in paper space that you really don't use when you're in model space. Here's your opportunity to set up a variety of workspaces to work the way that you want. And it's so easy and so fast to switch from one to the next that there's no reason not to take advantage of them. All right, I'm sure you guys are in pain looking at this particular workspace. I'm going to go back to, we'll go back to AutoCAD Classic, why not? Because many of you haven't upgraded to 2009 yet, and this is the one that we're most comfortable with. But I strongly recommend to you that you take advantage of workspaces. They're easy to create, easy to work with. If you want to save a workspace, it's simply a matter of setting the user, user interface up the way you like and then dropping this list down and saving, saying save current as. Key in the name, whatever that is. Lynn's favorite, whatever you think that should be. And go ahead and save it. It's just that simple. You can have as many as you want. There are no rules. <laughs> have a great rest of the week, and thanks for tuning in to Tips and Tricks Tuesdays.